Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Beth Mooring. I am the pastor of Greater Faith Word of God International. Welcome back to the International Channel. He that hath ears, let him hear. And today, we are continuing on the teaching of heretics. Glory be to God. And today, we're going to be talking about preaching another Jesus. In other words, which Jesus do you follow? The Jesus that man wants him to be or the Jesus that saves by grace? So I would like for you to come along and take a look with me in 1 John, the fourth chapter. And we will begin at the first verse. Amen. And I am so glad that you are here and that you have tuned in on this beautiful day. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. And remember last week, I even talked about this same scripture. Hereby you know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already is it in the world? And the Lord lets us know, ye are of God, little children. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Glory be to God. And you know, before we go any further, I just want you to really understand simply what Antichrist means. It means simply against Christ. Everything that has to do with God is you're against if God loves, you're against the love. If God says to be holy, you're against being holy. So whatever the Lord Jesus Christ is for, you're against. Glory be to God. And we find here that many all over the world have made Jesus into what they want him to be rather than receiving him as the true lamb of God. Many heretics are perverting and twisting the gospel, they're twisting the words by adding and subtracting from the word of God. And we know in Revelation that is a danger to add and subtract from the word. And to, ver to, per to, per to pervert is to alter something from its original meaning. Distortion, corruption of what was first intended, my God. To cause to turn away from what is right. To bring to a bad or worse condition. I don't want to hear from anyone. I don't want to hear from anyone that's not preaching and teaching the true biblical, holy word of God. Because if they're not preaching the word of God, they are preaching another gospel. I cannot express that enough. Even in my last video, I want you to really take heed. I want you to truly hear what the Spirit is saying. This is why in 1 John, the fourth chapter, the first verse lets us know that we have, we have to test every spirit. That means we have to be able to discern. Glory be to God. We have to have an ear to really hear what the Spirit is saying. Because if it's not of God, it's going, it's you, it's it's going to show. If it's you, saw so, you talk to a person long enough, and I have said this many times, and even to my children, you talk to a person, you sit down and start talking to them, you'll know just where they're coming from. And my mother always say, when a person shows who you are, who they are, believe it, Amen. So we must be careful and guard our hearts and our minds. We cannot eat from everyone's table. Everyone is not, mm -mm. everyone's hands are not clean. Everyone is not serving good food. 
glory be to God, and can make you spiritually sick. Amen? The Bible lets us know John 5 and 39. We have to search the scriptures for in them. For in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify me. So in other words, you know what? A lot of times we, 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 it's a terrible thing to think and not know. Amen. So we have to know this Bible for ourselves. We have to search the scriptures because they tell all about who Jesus is. Glory be to God. Amen. And you will not be deceived. You will not be hoodwinked. I like to say that a lot. Glory be to God. You will not be confused. Hallelujah. But you will know for yourself. You will know truth from error of the word of God. John 5 and 43 says, Jesus said, I am come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will, re you will receive. So we have to be careful that we do not believe everyone that gets up with smooth, good words, words that may sound so pleasant to the ear the ear glory be to god i don't care who it is i don't care if it's the president of the united states if it's a bishop <laughs> if, if it's the king and queen glory be to god hallelujah you know you you know some of you have once walked with the lord you have read and studied the scriptures but yet glory be to god someone came with words that tickled your ears Words that you wanted to hear to make you feel good, to fit the lifestyle you're living, glory be to God, and turned you away from the true word of God. And now they come in their name, mm -hmm, as the scripture just said, you know, another shall come in his own name and you shall receive him. So we have to be careful because many of these heretics are teaching no accountability for your actions. They're teaching that you're not held accountable for what you do. They're teaching you that it's not your fault. It's someone else's fault. Uh, uh, or they're, they're teaching you, you know, it's okay to do it. Just don't get caught. Or someone else's fault because they made me do it. The devil is a liar. Glory be to God. We are held accountable for everything we do. For the scripture already told us that everything done in his body, we shall give an account to the Lord for. So I pray today that you will hear and, and be, be, be on alert. You know, guard that heart. Glory be to God. Even be cautious to what you hear and what you watch. Amen. Glory be to God. You can sin all you want to without consequences so we're seeing here that a lot of them are teaching these these heresies these these damnable heresies that's not even the gospel at all as paul told us as i spoke on even last week you know what in other words you won't be punished for what you do in other words i will reward you for what you do glory be to god there's a lot of religions that's teaching you know, all over the world, there's different religions teaching them that if they do something bad, they'll be rewarded with something so great and good. The devil is a liar. God never awards sin. He punishes sin. But God does award our faithfulness and our righteousness, our holiness, and our walk with him. Amen. You know, their Jesus, they preach, are leading people to a burning hell. Mm, mm, mm. They're also teaching people that you're not required to be committed mm -hmm, to a holy walk, to this holy Jesus. They're teaching people you don't, mm -mm, is you don't have to be committed. You don't have to be loyal. Do what you want. Do what makes you feel good. Amen. In other words, they're saying you will never. In other words, you're, it's not a must. They're not insisting.
glory be to God, that you do the will of the Father. That you do the will of the Father. In other words, it, it, they're not insisting that you obey the word of God. They're not insisting that you obey God's will or God's son or this Jesus. They call the Jesus, the true and living redeemer of the world, the lamb of God that we serve. They're saying that we don't have to be committed and do the will of our big brother, Jesus. <laughs> do the do the will of our heavenly father, our big brother, our big brother, our father. Hmm. Well, take a look. Take a walk with me. I would like to go to Matthew. Glory be to God. Let's go to Matthew. The seventh chapter. And we're going to look at. Glory be to God. The 21st verse. Oh, glory. Jesus says here, whenever you see red writing in the word, Jesus is speaking. He says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. He says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And as I stated even last week, he would say to them, depart from me. I know ye not. He says, because you are lawless. It means you're a worker of iniquity. You're, you, you, you do abominable, abomin abominable works. You sin constantly and then you say there's no repercussions the devil is a liar glory be to god and then i would like for us to go to john the seventh chapter glory be to god and we're going to look at the 16th verse through the 18th jesus is speaking here again Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Jesus didn't come to seek his own glory. He came to testify of his father. He came to do the father's will, our heavenly father's will. Glory be to God. And those that are really walking with God are going to know the true, the true gospel from the false gospel, from this false Jesus that many are preaching and teaching all over the world. Jeremiah 5 and 21 says, Hear now this, O oh foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and you hear not. You're not seeing. Mm -mm. You're not seeing with a, with a true spiritual insight. You're you're blind. You're blind guys leading blind people into a burning hell. And the word of God says, and you have ears and hear not. You're not hearing from the Lord. It's your own evil imaginations of your heart and your thoughts that you're, 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 you're going around. Uh, many of you are going around and teaching. You're on YouTube. You're on TikTok. You're on Instagram. You're on TV. You're on YouTube. You're on, excuse me, I said YouTube already. You're on Zoom. Teaching damnable heresies you are what the bible calls heretics because you come with your own opinion your own visions your own words that god has not spoken to you neither has he given unto you and then also in jeremiah 5 and 4 therefore i say 
Therefore, I said, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. My God. You're not hearing. And he says you are poor. Glory be to God. You're not rich in the word. You're not rich in understanding. You are poor and you are lacking. Glory be to God. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the word of God. Ah, because it says right here, not only that, he says you are foolish. And we know it in the book of Psalms, the 14th chapter, he says the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. You are foolish and you don't know the way of the Lord and you're leading people. There's a woe. There's judgment against those that are stumbling block to others. And we will get to that scripture. Amen. And you know, neither do you know the judgment of their God. You don't know the judgment of my God, but you will. And you know what? Sad to say, you don't even know the judgment of the God you serve, that false God you serve. Glory be to God. And the sad thing about it, what can a God that cannot talk, cannot see, cannot hear, cannot move, what can that God do? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we find here glory. And I thank the Lord for this teaching today because um, many, 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 I can't even begin to express, I can't even begin to get into everything how so many different religions are te what they're teaching and it and it's, it's it's just some of it is really really horrible and disgusting glory be to god because they're teaching people the, the they're teaching people to just err in every area of their lives from from the money to their bodies to the way they think and it's a spirit of control the spirit of deception spirit of a is a jezebel spirit that's been released glory be to god in the spirit of of lies and then that spirit of uh of um uh, that spirit of persuasive you're persuading people to follow you and the lord god is not happy Luke 17 and 1, and I will be reading from the Amplified Version. Jesus said to his disciples, stumbling blocks, meaning temptations and traps set to lure one to sin, are sure to come, but woe, that means judgment is coming to you, to him through whom they come. So you false teachers and prophets out there, you false prophets, Preachers, glory be to God, that are teaching these damnable heresies and causing people to stumble and fall into sin. God is coming after you. Because in Luke 17 and 2, and this is from the King James Version, he says, It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea then that he should offend one of these little ones in other words to cause someone to stumble and fall into sin and lose their faith their faith in god their faith in the word of god the true and living word of god oh the lord said you minds will be in the sea in other words he's telling you you might as well just jump in because I'm coming after you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And what a weight, my God, the weight of judgment that is coming upon those that cause others to sin. Mm. Glory be to God. And you know, you know, those that profess to be religious, you know, they're teaching another gospel, preaching another Jesus, uh, are made to stumble by the temptation to follow a false leader, a false teacher, a false preacher, a false prophet, 
In other words, 2 Timothy 3, that talks about in the Bible, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. And the seventh verse says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. You know, these false religious teachers and, and preachers and prophets, these false heretics, you know, you, you, you're, you're causing people, you know, to stumble through temptation. Through temptation, they're being tempted. Glory be to God to follow you. And I use the word persuade, persuade. You're, you're persuading them, glory be to God, to follow your teaching. You know, you have that form of godliness, but you're denying the true power of the living God. And you're ever learning. You know, you're always reading. You're always studying. You're going here to this school. You're going there to that school. You're always writing and reading this and reading that but never able to come to the knowledge of truth. And the word of God says, whom the son sets free is free indeed. And he also said that, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Glory be to God. And I want to read Jeremiah 23 in the NIV version, the 11th and 12th verse. Both prophet and priest are godless. Even in my temple, I find their wickedness, even in the house of God. Glory be to God, declares the Lord. And the 12th verse, therefore, their path will become slippery. They will banish to darkness and there they will fall. I will bring disaster on them in the year they are punished, declares the Lord. Did you hear that? You are not getting away. You are not getting away for teaching and preaching another Christ, another gospel. You are cursed and the Lord is coming after you. He said that you will banish to darkness. Glory be to God. And that he says that, that you will fall and he says he will bring disaster on them in the year. They are punished, declares the Lord. And what the Lord speaks what the Lord says shall come to pass. Glory be to God. Ezekiel 13 and 9 says, and I'm reading this from the New Living Translation. I will raise my fist against all the prophets who see false visions and make lying predictions. And they will be banished from the land of Israel. Glory be to God. I will blot their names from Israel's record books and they will never again set foot in their own land. Then you will know that I am the sovereign Lord. You know, in other words, the Lord is saying here in this biblical passage of scripture, you know, these prophets that lie and prophesy lies and make false predictions, say that the Lord said this and the Lord says that, the Lord showed them this vision and the Lord showed them that vision and the Lord did not. He's letting you know here in Israel, you know, we know represents the saints of God, represents the house of God. Glory be to God. And what he's saying here that you will not be able to enter in. In other words, you're not going to heaven. Your name is not going to be written in the Lamb's book of life. In other words, you will no longer be a member of my house, hallelujah, you will no longer be, your name will no longer be written on the roll. Glory be to God. I will blot your name out. My God, my God. And he, then he says, then you will know, you will know that I am the sovereign Lord. They, in other words, the Lord is saying here, they shall feel the weight of God's hand against them. They shall have no place in God's house among the saints, among those, in other words, in heaven and here on earth, and here on earth. You're not even going to be able to, or allowed to even fellowship and commune with the saints of the, the true saints of the living God. He's not going to allow it. Glory be to God. Why? Because his hand is against his hands against every false heretic 
every false leader, every false prophet, every false teacher, every false preacher. Amen. The Lord said that his fist, his hand is against you and you will not be written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Glory be to God. Revelation 21 and 27 says, And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Mm. I'm going to read that again. Revelation 21 and 27 says, And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. You know, I, I, I want to go to Revelation. Glory be to God. We're going to go to Revelation, the 21st chapter. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You know, it's a terrible thing. The, the Bible says it's, it, it, it's, 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 in other words, it's frightening. It's terrible. It's, it's dreadful to, to fall into the hands of the living God. And I want to go to Revelation 22 and 15. For the word of God says, For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. This is the word of God. And I tell you this. I want, I, I, I want to share this with each and every one today. Glory be to God. You know, if 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 you're if you're if you're in a church or if you're connected to someone, I don't I don't I don't know. But if they're not teaching what's written in this holy word of God, you know, anybody can say, you know, godliness. Clean a lot of people used to say clean um clean cleanliness is is next to godliness. And I used to hear people say it is written in the word of God. No, it's not. That is not in the word of God whatsoever. Glory be to God. God speaks about holiness. He says, be holy for I'm holy. It is written in the word of God. You know, and so many people are being deceived because they're not reading this word. They're not studying this word. They're not looking at the scriptures for themselves. Glory be to God. Amen. So I'm telling, I'm, I just want to let you know that, you know, so that you won't be deceived and persuaded and tempted to follow these false heretics that are preaching another Christ. Glory be to God. Open the word of God. Know it for yourself. Pray and ask God to, to lead you to the right house of God, to lead you to the one that will teach the true word of God. You don't want to be a part of any false doctrine and religion. Amen. Jeremiah 3 and 15 says, And I will give you pastors according to my, to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. A true pastor, according to God's heart, is going to make sure you are fed well. Going to make sure that you are nurtured. Going to make sure you get the right food. Going to make sure that you truly are taught the word of God. Going to make sure that you, you don't be ignorant in this, in this gospel, glory be to God, in your walk with the Lord. That you will know the word. You're going to be taught well of the things of God. And you know, that's truly a, a, a pastor after God's own heart. Glory be to God, because he's going to want what God wants for you. Hallelujah. And God loves us enough that he gives us the truth. And this is the truth. The Bible is the true word of God. 
And John 10, 27 and 28 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Isn't that awesome? Glory be to God. The Lord is letting me know. My sheep hear my voice. We're not going to follow a stranger. We're not going to follow another. Mm -mm. Because we know him. We know his voice. We know that he's our shepherd. We know that it's him that leads and guide us. We know it's him that takes care of us. Because when, when, when you really study about a sheep, a sheep is dumb, really. Believe it or not. Glory be to God. That's why we have to be led and taught. Glory be to God. And once that sheep get to know that master, hallelujah, once that sheep know his voice, he's not going to follow a stranger. He's going he's, he's gonna to continue to follow the voice that's really taking care of him, the one that's watching over his soul, the one, glory be to God, that's leading him into those green pastures, hallelujah, the one where he can be refreshed and his soul restored, the one that can eat good, eat of, of, of the fat of the land, the one that is satisfied, hallelujah, glory be to God, and walking with him and following after Christ, amen, we're not going to follow another, we're not going to follow a stranger, we're not going to follow one that's going to lead us into into a, 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 a strange land. We're not going to follow another that's going to lead us down a, a wicked path. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The word of God. And especially a path where we can't even see where we're going. Hallelujah. And you know, Mo, I thank the Lord. Glory be to God. You know, for the word of God. I You know, I was thanking the Lord so much. Glory. Um, yesterday and today as I was walking um, through my house and I was just thanking the Lord that my parents introduced me to, to the true and living God because there's many out there that have not been taught the word of God. So it's up to us, glory be to God, that those that truly have a heart after God according to God's heart, hallelujah, that want to see people fed the right, the right meal, the right food, glory. The Bible lets us know that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need the word of God, you know, because it feeds us. It feeds the spirit, man. Glory be to God. And if it's not getting the right food, it's going to get sick. You know, and if it doesn't eat right, if you don't eat right, you know, it can make you sick and you can die. Well, just like in the natural soul, it is in the spiritual. Glory be to God. We, If we don't eat this true word of God, if we don't eat of his flesh and drink of his blood according to the word of God, we will not live but die. Amen. Glory be to God. So I pray, I pray that you have been encouraged once again. Glory be to God. I pray that you will share this word with your family members, those that are not saved, or if you know someone that's not saved, at the right house, under the right teaching, glory be to God, that you would share this teaching with them. And I pray that it pricks their heart. I pray that God would open their eyes, their blind eyes, open their deaf ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church in this hour. Church, saints of God, my brothers and sisters, my mothers, and, my mother and my mothers and fathers in Zion, Jesus Christ is coming soon. And the word of God said, except all hear the gospel. He says, you know, he will not return to all hear the gospel. So it's up to us, glory be to God, to teach and preach 
the holy word of God. Not take from it and not add to it. But preach the gospel, the good news. Glory be to God. Because they testify about who he is. Amen. So I pray tonight that you will be blessed. I pray tonight that you will be so encouraged, glory be to God, to open up the scriptures and to search them. Don't just take my word for it, but look in the scriptures. Search them for yourself. Know for yourself what the word of God is saying to you. Because God, you know, when we pray, we speak to him. But when we open the Bible, he's speaking to us. Amen. Glory be to God. So I pray tonight that each and every one of you will be blessed. Glory be to God. And I pray that your families, I pray that, you know, your church family, glory be to God, and those that you shared this message with will be tremendously, tremendously uplifted. I pray that it will bring hope. I pray that it will bring peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that none will lack in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. Glory be to God. And this is, the word of God is our daily food. So until we meet again, I pray that you have a blessed night. God loves you and so do I. Be blessed.